Always so good to see our next guest, Mr. Nick Cannon, who has somehow found the time to write a delightful children's <laughs> book in the midst of all of his other gigs as an actor, a comedian, a rapper, an entrepreneur, and, or what'd you call it? An uh, entrepreneur. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That will be in the dictionary next year. Yes. The book is called Rock and Rose, 12 Days of Christmas. Welcome, Nick. Thank you for having me. I'm thrilled to have you to talk about this book. It's so yeah. sweet, and the illustration really capture the essence of those kids, of them oh, dim babies. Them babies. Oh, uh, yeah, now they're dim kids. I yes. mean, they're three and a half years old. Uh, and they're just, they're full of so much personality. I was inspired to write this book. I mean, each and every day with them is crazy. Yesterday we went to Legoland. I was like, I got to write a book about this experience now. <laughs> They wore me out, but it, it, it's so much fun, especially during the time of the holidays, to kind of, you know, focus on family and, and just have a, a, a good time with them more than anything. And they, there they are. There they are. We first got to look at them with the great Barbara Walters. <laughs> yeah. Um, and now that I can't believe it, they're almost four years old. Yeah. So did they help you with because it because it's cute. Some oh of the, yeah. Some of the twelve days of Christmas gifts. These are not your partridge in a pear trick. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> of course, this is stuff that obviously is a little fun and over the top uh, in our family. But yeah, I remember when we were designing the characters, like they put they had their input. Like my daughter was like, Daddy, my glasses don't look like that. Like so. <laughs> I had to make sure, you know, they were happy with their characters and everything. We had a lot of fun. And even though you and I were just talking, uh, Mariah and you are right. separated, Christmas is about family first Always, and always focus on family. I mean, we'll forever be family. I mean, at the same time, you know, we're there for our children and making them the number one priority and understanding that they're loved and can have an amazing holiday. And how will you do that? Tell us a uh, tradition that you'll do in your house based on these 12 days. I think there's some fun ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot. I mean, obviously, it's, it's always a house full of people and, and pets and dogs. And, you know, Christmas Eve, we like to have sleigh rides and, and reindeer. And so it, it get, it, it's a lot of fun. So when you read the book, everything seems over the top, but it really happens. And it really does. <laughs> so so we, these, this is a little glimpse into your life. <laughs> Absolutely. And the, and the twins. Okay. So... In addition to writing the book and everything else you do, you're also popping over to Radio City Music Hall to their big Christmas spectacular. Yeah, absolutely. And then just focusing, obviously, I'll be there with the book and, and reading because, you know, literacy is something that is truly important to me, especially when it comes to the youth. And, you know, I've been trying to instill it into my children early on. And then anytime, you know, you can get around a bunch of kids and read a book, you can't go, you can't go wrong with that. When are you at Radio City? I will be there today. Yes. You know, the royals could just pop in. And then just, just you know, no, no pressure. I can read to them. They can read to me. It, it'd be a great situation. It's their first trip to New York, <laughs> and you are at Radio City for a true New York City tradition. I mean, stranger things have happened. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And you've got so many other things. Really quickly, the real house. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah real husbands, husbands of, Hollywood. of Hollywood. Everybody, they call it like house husbands. House husbands. All no, it's just yeah. husbands. Kevin Hart and I uh, have a show where we just actually get to have a heightened version of our lives and we get to be really silly. I think I'm the mayor of Beverly Hills at this point. Yes. Uh, it's a parody, everybody. Yeah. It's not a reality show. And, and it's, they say it's the <laughs> fakest reality show on television and we have a lot of fun with it. Well, how can you not with Kevin Hart and yeah. Kevin Kelly? And that yeah, and Nelly and everybody stops through. We had Chris Rock. We had Boris, of course, is always on. It's, it's a bunch of fun stuff. It's just really friends having a good time. Well, you never let down. And Thank listen, you. I'm so I'm so thrilled to hear that you and the family are okay and yeah. that you're going to have a beautiful Christmas together. And Absolutely. thank you for giving us this gift. No problem. It is called, everybody, Rock and Rose 12 Days of Christmas. And it is in stores right now. And before you go, Nick, yes. I understand that you are going to donate a coat to I, our warm, co warm coats, warm hearts coat drive. Of course. Right Let's over here. Let's Come do on it. over. Make sure. Thank you. Uh, You're gonna, no it's going to be chilly without it, but I we know, do right? so appreciate it. <laughs> and we'll no be right problem. back, everybody. Thank you.